Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up Well. We continue with our focus on the church. This is the anniversary week of the well, being six years old, and we're celebrating what it means to be church. And for today's reading, I'm going to Hebrews 13, verse 20. May the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I came across a saying recently that I liked. Churches are very busy often at having mission statements. It's not that the church has a mission statement. It's that our mission on earth has a church. And that's important to grasp as we consider what it means to be church at this time. The kingdom of God works out best has a structure, has a form through church, through church community. And Jesus loves his church. It can be really sobering sometimes to come back to that. The church is full of people and there are no perfect people, we know. And as a result, we can often have uh, disappointment or negativity or huge expectations as to the church. But the church is you and me, it's ordinary people loving an extraordinary God who does extraordinary things through our lives. And the church is the way in which the Father works out his purposes on earth. Now, I want you to just think for a moment as we look at this passage to important elements about what it means to be church. At the heart of who we are as a people, what it means to be in Christ is resurrection, transformative power, our eternal covenant uh, brought back from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ. And he is the great shepherd of the sheep. I want you to think for a few moments with me of what it means to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, to be in Christ, who is a great shepherd. Because you and I are actually called to be shepherds. That was that word to Peter, feed my sheep. So what does that maybe look like for you starting this new day? Uh, when I think of Jesus as the shepherd, I am reminded of his rod and his staff, his guidance, his direction. Shepherds bring direction. I'm also reminded of the comfort that the shepherd brings. Psalm 23 says that your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Those boundaries, those security, those love where there are shepherds. Shepherds also have a very important role in uh, saving the injured sheep. And now is a season where people may be very vulnerable post lockdown, may have been isolated, may have thought all sorts of different ideas or um, being cut off from community and it is with wisdom often that we can walk as shepherds with our rod and staff and hook and, and literally hook sheep back into the fold. We know that's how wolves and sheep operate. Uh, sheep are most vulnerable where they are separated from a pack and a limping sheep becomes vulnerable and is lost in the wilderness or open to prey. And so we as shepherds can draw people back into the pack. Sometimes that practically looks like kind words, a phone call, reaching out, asking Holy Spirit to identify maybe somebody you haven't seen for some time. And then the shepherd gives very clear direction as well. I remember years ago being concerned uh, for some people within the flock and I processed this with a, a senior leader I wasn't the senior leader at the time. And he asked me what I was going to do about my concern. And I said I was going to simply pray. And uh, he challenged me on whether that was enough. Uh, he, he sat back in his chair and he said, that's an interesting response, Marjorie. So you are watching sheep head to a cliff to potentially fall over that cliff and you're not gonna say anything? 
And I realised at that moment, it is with discernment we walk, but good shepherds call out to their sheep, speak truth to their sheep, identify their sheep, call them back from deep ravines to be safe within the pack. And so as we walk out what it means to be his hands and feet, his church, in, in covenant, which is in Christ, let us be, all of us, good shepherds of his people, shepherding one and another. I love that image. Let me pray to bless your day. Father, it amazes us that you would want to work through us, that you never give up on us, and you're the searching shepherd for that one sheep, and you run after us, you track us down, and you also empower us to shepherd others, all of us. And you pour your love into our hearts to be poured out to others. And you give us great wisdom and discernment and teaching. And so we look to you for guidance that we would walk as safe sheep, but it was also good shepherds representing your body here on earth. Amen.